Today I'm going to share how I took some pieces of trash and did a DIY to make a beautiful lamp base and lamp shade to make this useful and beautiful and very elegant sophisticated decor. So this is the trash of the day. This used to be a base of a decorative piece and it was old and I had thrown it. I don't want the decorative piece, took it out and there was a cover here which has been taken off and this is all solid wood, plywood and also covered with a false leather at the base. I'm going to keep it just as it is because it will not scratch on any table. Then this whole frame is made up of solid wood but it's chippy at places so I'm going to paint it later with some black paint. There is a metal rim on the side which looks dated. I'll try to polish it or just give it a coat of metallic gold or silver. Then what I did is I just got a hole drilled through this so that I can take a wire out. I'm going to turn this into a beautiful lamp and this is going to be the base of my lamp. Now let's construct the shade, lamp shade. So the second trash of the day is this cardboard pieces which came from a pastry shop. So what I did is I took cardboard pieces of a desirable height and the width is what matters is the width should be contained within this rim. So within this metallic rim there is this is a raised metallic rim. So in between I took the width such that it's contained there. Then I had this extra flaps about half an inch on both the sides and this can stand like this. So I have two such pieces for two different sides to stand up like this because I need to construct a box. And then let's see how I do it. So I have using this flap. On the other hand also just cut off by making an angle so that they can I first save the angle on these sides and not exact square just little wider pieces so that they can fold and curve in neatly now let's check yes it sits in perfectly inside this Next day, I have to join these. This is a piece of corrugated piece of cardboard and I'm going to just trip off the top part of it. You see? Just the top part of it. Now because this piece is to be discarded, so I'm using scissors, but otherwise I always say use knives for this. Now this is the another piece without the flap and this will glue in with this one and it can become joint like this. So I'm going to take this flaps out. Next I need to create a window through which the light comes out. So using a ruler I'm going to mark it say about a centimeter. on all the sides and I need to I'm going to use now a knife to cut out the window I'll not use scissors here because it will weaken up my structure So now I have all the four walls of the lampshade with the windows cut out and now I'm going to trim the flaps that I've made to the same width as that of the window frame and then I'm going to glue these four pieces together and make them stand up like a cuboid, like a cuboid lampshade. So for that it's going to be alternating 
a flapped window, non-flapped window and then it will form a complete cuboid. I'm going to use PVA glue to glue these things together. I used some paper tape at the back side of it or the top side of it to reinforce these joints both on the height wise as well as when I make the top flap or the bottom flap as well. Welcome to my monthly useful DIY challenge. I want to thank Sandra from the show says for being the co-host of this month. I want to thank all the participants to this month's challenge and all the viewers. The playlist link for this month's challenge is given in the description box of this video where you can add your video and watch all the videos in this challenge. Now I have this cuboid constructed. I did a bottom base also now for the top also similarly I'll just close these flaps down so that they form a flat base and secure it using some paper tapes this is a step I did both for the base bottom as well as for the top next to give it a more neat and a strong finish I took a cardstock paper in white and I measured it so as to get the exact measure uh, fit so I got a square piece out and cut it out. Then I also cut out a small square window inside it. Now this I'll paste on the top of this and then I'll trim another piece. I'll make another piece of the similar size and trim it slightly to go in the base of it at the bottom so that I have a very neat looking lampshade. Now I have this frame all ready. Next I took a piece of cotton fabric. One can even take burlap if you wish to. This is a little heavy weave cotton fabric and I am going to glue it all over this frame leaving the empty or portions that the square inlet and outlet of the base and the top of the frame. So I'm going to use PBA glue which is a multi-purpose and a strong adhesive glue to glue my fabric onto this frame. Now only thing I'll be careful is I am on the right edges neatly covering all the edges and the fabric is well stretched over it and has no creases or folds anywhere. It should look really neat. I have already measured my fabric beforehand before cutting it out to the size so that there are no loose flaps left out. Here you see me attaching the last side of this fabric and of the lampshade and it neatly closes because I have already pre-measured my fabric. Now once all the four standing sides are done, I will now do the roof. I left this extra amount of fabric to do the roof. And I'm going to apply glue on top of this cardstock paper and then bring in the fabric and press it tightly close in a way a gift is wrapped so that there are neat corners and it looks very beautiful once finished. I'll also tuck in and glue the extra pieces of fabric inside this lampshade. So this extra overhanging amount of fabric will go underneath the roof which will not be seen once it's finished and it will look a very neat sophisticated lampshade. Now for the lamp base, I took some black acrylic paint and diluted it slightly with little water so that it acts like a stain and I'm going to go over this base all over it with this diluted paint. So it's going to take care of those chippy areas as well as give it a more unified and a fresh look. Now for the metal rim, I realized it was better to leave it alone and not paint it. It would look tacky if I did. I like this aged silver look 
and that would finish the look of the base. So next I took a piece of MDF board that would you know, stick in the center and my frame can sit over it. So keeping this and then I got my bulb holder with higher connection and I'm just going to find out. I'll center it well and then mark the points for the where the holes would be for the wire to come out and all that and I'm going to cut through these and attach this and then take these two wires through this from inside through this hole out. So I have this wire attachment made and the bulb holder sitting well in it so it's functional as well as useful and beautiful and the lampshade sits pretty on its groove. As I'm not an expert with the camera, I cannot do really the justice with this beautiful lampshade with the lights inside it. I cannot really capture how beautiful it looks in real life. It might not look so great on the camera. So I'm giving you both some still images as well as the video image of how it turned out finally. I really like it and it's going to stay for a long time in my home. I hope you liked my today's DIY. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up, share this video, share my channel link. If you love the content, please subscribe and make sure you go to the playlist and watch all the participants video and say my thanks to Sandra. Until my next video, be positive, be creative and be happy. Thank you everybody.